the sheer volume of scams, the phishing texts, malicious emails and fraudulent websites is skyrocketing. It feels like we're navigating a battlefield with scammers on one side and us on the other, trying to stay one step ahead. Today, let's break down one crucial skill. This video will explain how to determine if a website is safe to browse. Before we dive in, two very basic cyber hygiene everyone should follow. One, have a modern, safe internet browser. We recommend using Google Chrome, considering its features and built-in security. Second, antivirus. Especially if you are using a Windows PC, ensure you have an antivirus installed on your computer. It can even be a free one like Avast, but be sure to have an antivirus installed. With those fundamentals in place, let's get into the steps for checking if a website is safe to browse. Firstly, learn to spot certificate and privacy errors like you see on the screen. Certificates are like digital seals of authenticity checked and validated by the browser. Modern browsers warn you when they detect an expired or fake certificate. When you see such a message, double check the website as it is often a malicious website impersonating the real one. Remember, data exchanged with such websites is not safe, making them unsafe to use. The best step is to close the browser tab and look for an alternative website to serve your purpose. When in doubt, always ensure the website you are browsing either has a green padlock or a message confirming it's secure. The second method is a quick reputation check of the website to determine if it's safe. A great free tool I often use for this is called VirusTotal. It performs simultaneous checks using dozens of cybersecurity vendors to detect any malicious content or reported issues on the website. Here's how a malicious website might appear when scanned on VirusTotal. If you notice one or more vendors flagging the website as malicious, it's very likely unsafe. However, some crafty scammers use freshly created web pages that can occasionally bypass this layer of checking. So always stay skeptical, especially when handling sensitive information. And safe websites when scanned will give you a clean reputation scorecard like this. These are two quick steps you can use when you're unsure if a website is safe to use. As a general rule, it's always a good idea to search for the official website on Google rather than clicking on a link in a message or email. This way, you can be more confident about the website you're visiting. Additionally, keep an eye out for flags or alerts to spot hidden dangers. I hope this video has helped you browse more safely. Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments section below.